Hi, this is Git part three. So uh, last time we 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 work on Git and 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 today we will see how we can uh, go back and and work with all the commits, okay, all the version of your software, okay. Um, if you call Git log, you can see that these are the uh, commits that we have. Uh, made to the repository okay we have one two three four five six commits um, these commits are uh, tied together in in the sense that uh, let's look at the, the picture okay so this is the first commit and then the second commit uh, is the next snapshot after the first and then the third the fourth or something like that okay um, and you can see that each of the commit together with the commit message uh, each commit has a unique identifier this, uh, this is the signature of the commit like this one, this one, this is the first one and this is the second one, you can see it here right, okay now um, suppose I, I am one, suppose I, I, I know that in, in this version of, of my software everything works but uh, it things start to you know be bo broken after this point so maybe I wanna go back and, 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 and work on this version of my software instead of the correct one what should I do okay so before we can do that let's let's try to see the difference so we, we know that git diff show the difference between the current one and the stage staging area uh, if you call git diff and if you specify the together with the git diff command the identify the commit uh, ID uh, it would the git would show the difference between the current um, stage and the um, the co commit that you specified so let's copy this mark. you don't need to put the whole uh, ID because uh, maybe 10, 10 first characters of the ID would be enough it to be unique so if you call git diff git would list all the difference between uh, the current version and uh, the current staging area and, and, and this uh, commit now I see okay so this is the change that I would like to uh, it's buggy so I would like to throw away okay so what should I do now let's go back to this picture a little bit um, these are the commits the yellow one and the blue ones are um, you can think of it as a pointer so it points to places in this uh, commit graph okay um, this commit uh, chain so it, you have a chain of commits here um, this is the parent of that you can think of it this way uh, head is where we are now and master master is the name of the default branch we will talk about branch a little bit later, but just ignore it for now. Um, so head is where we are. Okay. So the idea is that we want to go back to this. Okay. We want to go back to this uh, commit. Okay. The commit number is this uh, sixty nine D E C something. Um, we want to go back. Okay. We we can just skip this to see the change, and we want to go back. So we want to move head to this. Okay. So we're gonna use command git checked out. Okay, let's call git git checked out with the commit that we would like to go back. Okay, so let's call it git check out. Then um, it say checking out this, and you are in detached head. You can read this, but basically uh, we are as the current status would look like this. We are at this. The head is this and and you can call uh, you can look at the file and then you can see that uh, if I call git status uh, this input dot log and the password dot text will come back right because because uh, git ignore file is gone and and if you look at the index dot html uh, look at the uh, index.html you only have 
this this uh, title bar line you don't have the two paragraph because we, we move back to this uh, location okay now we can make change okay suppose I, I wanna but be careful okay so so when you try this you really need to be careful because we we, we have a head point to this comet and 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 yeah we you you see soon okay so let's make some change on it now this okay so this is they got refresh okay there's no more that HTML as well so look at it uh, let let me add something so I, I don't want to put more anything so I um, test 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 now I, I made some change some change okay and I can call git diff to see the difference that I have just made and now I can I can I can put the I can commit it I commit dash am because I don't want to add it I just want to add automatically the difference call git status call git commit dash am and okay improve improve content Okay, when I call git commit dash am, so it's automatically add all the modified checked out check uh, track uh, files. Uh, it would add this index.html, but it's not gonna add new new files. Okay, so I put some commit here. It's a detached head, so you have to be careful. Okay, now um, if you call git log, you see that uh, we have we we end up here improve content. And the 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 commit chain change a little bit. So instead of having four or five commits, we only have three. Okay. So the picture would look like like this. We 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 we've just com commit this. We have add this commit, and we have the head at this point. Okay. Now, um, head is is where we are, but but it it is hard to to say that um. Um, so now let's look at the row of, of branching okay so in, in git you 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 would uh, if you want to go back in time or if you want to go to some commit you have to move the head to the head uh, to these commits now you have you need you really need some some way to refer to these commits okay one one way to do that is to use the the ID okay but the ID is pretty long and you cannot actually set it so here come branches okay now you can create a branch with a name so this is one of the branch that is co created automatically uh, by default this is master but you can create a new branch pretty easily by just calling git branch okay if I call git branch it would list all the branch that I have including this detach so this is head so this is some branch some some somewhere my head point to and then there's no uh, branch attached to it okay so if i move the head to somewhere else it it would be really hard to come back to this point okay so i can create a branch so i would call git branch and then specify the name called git branch update so what happened is that I created the new pointers or labeling or some I put some labels to this commit. The label is update. Okay. Um, so now I, I have two branches now. One is master and this one is update. Okay. Now uh, when I call git branch you can see that's update and master but I'm, I'm still here because I'm not pointing to to branch update okay so to move the head to the to point to the branch and actually point to this commit I would use command git checked out again but with the branch name so git checked out update okay git branch now I'm here I'm at update the, so the picture would end up like like this Like this okay so now we have two branch branches uh, and um, 
you can keep working on this the, the new version of your software okay you can add and work on it and and it will be it will, be, it will remain on branch called update and and everything should work okay so so this is how you go back in time however sometimes you you don't you you you, you want the branch name to reflect the thing you are working okay so branch master should be really the master change of commit now if, if you want to move our development into this uh, branch we need some way to move this head this master to to this place okay how uh, to move the branch to somewhere we use command git reset okay so let's let's do it so when you want to reset uh, the head to somewhere you you have have to move so what what we're gonna do now is is to move to move the head back to master and and move everything from port move uh, tail master to to go to point to this place okay so I would call git checked out master what do we have here so I just move my head to this point and then I call git okay, it will be a long command okay. fairly long git reset okay and then I tell it to go to uh, this git reset would move my head together with the branch to one of the commits so th this commit is uh, so what is the name this and then you need to tell it uh, so this is just remember this git reset hard there's there's a uh, something called git reset soft but just ignore it for now when i say git reset hard it it would move my head together with the current branch to this point it would look like this if you call git log you see that we only have uh, Oh, I made a mistake. I should have go back to uh, hold on git branch. I want now. I made a mistake. I should made master point. Now master point point to sixty nine dc. So it points to this. Oh, I, I made something wrong. However, uh, I still have update at at the current the the correct ending that I should. I, I want master to point to. So let's do something more get checked out update okay I, I have three uh, commits now um, because so this is the correct commit that I want master to go so let's do it again get check out master now I move head back to master and then call git reset with the commit ID and then hard now if you call git log you see that um, master point to improve content and if you call git tk you can see that uh, that master and update are uh, point to the same commit now okay after we're doing this uh, you can see that uh, this old development is gone okay because you have no no pointer pointing to it however it's it's not actually it is not gone but it's hard to reach we can uh, check out check out with this oh luckily i have this number uh, 54 b68 now if if i'm there hit log let's, let's see if i re remember the 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 id then i can always go back but uh, it it would be very difficult unless i create a, a branch here but maybe this is not what we want to do for now so we, we just want to move okay all right so i hope you have you you see some ideas and um so let's let's recap a little bit Okay, so we have 
we can call so when you commit stuff it will create a change of commits okay so this is the previous commit that you have uh, created okay now um, there are two there are basically one pointers that points to the current uh, commit that we are in this is called head pointer so it refer to the current commit that we are working on and usually there are some branches there are branches one of the default branch is called master and it usually point to if we don't move or do anything it usually point to the the latest uh, the last commit okay uh, we can use diff git diff to show the difference between the current head the current stage uh, area and and some other commits okay now we if you want to move to somewhere else we use git checked out so you specify with git check out either the branch name or either the the uh, the commit uh, ID okay you can also check out path but I'm not gonna cover it okay for example you can check out this this uh, commit uh, after that the cur current uh, working area will be every the f all the files will be changed back to this point okay all the track file will be changed to this commit and now you can work on it okay you can create more commit you can change stuff and and, and create new commit and but but this this uh, this commit will be can be referred only through by 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 the name so it's not going to be good so we can we need to put a branch onto it because because it it will be easy to to remember so we we will create branch by using git branch here yeah, i can create git branch update at this point and you you can move head to this branch by call git checked out update the head would move to this okay now um if you stay on this branch we can keep wor working and and you you add stuff to this branch however if you want to switch everything the main development on th to to this change the new one um we usually want to move master branch to this point to do that uh, we need to move head to to master first so we we, we just call git checked out master the head would move here okay and then we call git reset to reset master to this point okay we, we call git reset hard okay the word hard is to to tell git to uh, move the move the master branch and also update all the files if you call git reset soft it will just move the branch and then all the file will remain the same okay we so we use git reset hard so that master move move to this point now since this is our master development chain so we can keep move, uh, working on it and then we add more commits onto it and for those commits that we left out it will be it will be in the repository but it will be hard to reach okay if you remember the name so there's some command to re retrieve, retrieve it but but i'll just ignore it for now okay now if we have to uh so we can if we're doing this we, we get more branches and and you can merge them when, when you have if you work with friends sometimes you have many branches and you want to combine them so we're going to use git merge but we, we will learn it later okay right now we we, sh we should be able to uh commit stuff commit stuff and go back if you made a mistake go back and you know move the master development change to this the newer one okay so some other commands we you you need to learn git merge to do some fancy stuff some um, you know fancier stuff okay so right now i hope uh, you have some idea and and if you work alone this should give you enough um git commands so we will look at git some a little bit more some at, at some later point okay thank you